Hey, what's going on, guys? Talk Aston Villa here, back for the final match preview of the season. It's Arsenal versus Aston Villa on Sunday at the Emirates Stadium. I'm really looking forward to this, and a lot of people are probably watching this thinking, Cole, what are you talking about? We're probably going to get battered. Probably are, but you know what? It's our last Premier League game for who knows how long. Why not enjoy it? Why not cheer on the guys and just have a good day out, have some fun, and whatnot, even if I'm in Canada and respective Villa fans overseas, of course. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So let's go with score predictions. Leave your score predictions below, of course. Now let's be realistic here. Arsenal have a tendency of doing very well on the final game of the season. Uh, who did they play last at the end of last season? They absolutely battered them. I think it was like Wilshire scored an absolute worldie. Let's go 4-1 Arsenal. We'll go with Giroud, Sanchez to score twice. Um, and Will Sherrill score another world-class goal for the hour and whatever he's played this season, then he'll go to the Euros because that's how it just works. IU to score a consolation goal because it'll probably be his last game for us, so why the hell not put him on the score sheet? But let me know your thoughts on that and your score predictions down below, of course, from Villa fans, Arsenal fans, and the neutrals. Now, next to me, you see my predict 11. What I want to know is your Predict 11, so leave that in the comments below. Arsenal fans, once again, critique it. Let me know who you think will start for Arsenal. Whatever, let me know what you think. So we're going to go with a base that's a 5-4-1, whatever you want to call it, 5 triple 2 whatever, because we'll probably play a 5 in the back just so we don't get murdered because that's what we do. So Mark Bunnen, goal, uh, right wing back Hutton, Clark, Lescott, don't want Lescott in there, but we don't drop him for some reason. Toner in there, which I'm glad to see. I thought he had a good performance against Newcastle. I believe Sizok goes back, so I'll put him at left wing back. Uh, middle two of Westwood and Sanchez holding. Or not Sanchez, sorry, Ghana. I don't know why I said Sanchez. Um, on the right, we'll go with Ayu. On the left, we'll go with Grealish, because I just, why not play him one more game? And Rudy just dead up top, because why the hell not? You know what? If I get... 9 of those 11, I will do a giveaway. Let's do that. If I get 9 of those players right, I will do some sort of giveaway for the end of the season. I promise you that. More info on my Twitter whenever, if that happens. So I'll let you guys know about that. Follow me, by the way, Cheeky Plug, Talk Aspill on Twitter. Anyways, now let's get on to the flashback moment. And I can't remember the exact stat, but we haven't scored against Arsenal in, I think the, in a while. I think the aggregate score is like... 12 or something, nothing over the last like three or four games, which is very bad because they absolutely smash us for the last, for the last few years at least. But anyways, we're going to go back to the start of the 2013-2014 season because why the hell not? We beat them 3-1. Uh, Olivier Giroud opened the scoring, and of course we had Christian Manteke score too, and who remembers Antonio Luna, Tony Mood himself, just running and running and running and beating Wojciech Chesney. 3-1 that day, uh, I remember being at home and jumping around because it was unreal to come out the block that way, especially under Paul Lambert. Let me know your favorite and least favorite moments playing Arsenal in the past, of course. And just going into closing thoughts and wrapping this up quickly before I get into something else, um, why not have fun, enjoy it, play the likes of Grealish, ex let them express themselves. You know what, this is probably the last opportunity we're going to see Ayu, probably Zoko, Lescott, thankfully, um, probably Sanchez if he does play, probably Adrisagana, who maybe even Clark depending on his Euros, probably Mark Bunn depending there too. Who knows who's going to leave, everyone could leave at this rate, we don't know, so why not get behind them, why not have a good day out? I hope everyone that's traveling all the way to North London, from a Villa fan perspective, enjoys the game, has a good day out, and all that good stuff. I can't thank you guys enough for, um, I'll have an other videos out in the summer too, but I can't thank you guys enough for the support you've shown this year. Um, it's been the worst year in Villa's Premier League history, but I, I couldn't be happier with the support I've had on this channel. Uh, to hit over a thousand subscribers, would I've been slowly, inconsistently, my, my fault, probably would have hit it long ago, but to hit it and be, what, near 1,200 now, it's fantastic. 
Hopefully we can grow from here and have a decent fan base going in the championship. Hopefully you guys stick with me and show your support and next season because I still plan to do videos. Uh, match day's experience uh, with my cameraman that I have and good friend that I've made. Um, collaborations, all that good stuff. I'll stop rambling, but leave all that info below. Uh, once again, thank you for your support. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll probably see you on Saturday something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyways, follow me on Twitter. More info there. Peace out.